Welcome to Perfection's Clutch Installation Lab. This is a 1999 Saturn 1.9 liter with the manual transmission. Today I'm going to show you two techniques to replace the clutch master cylinder and slave cylinder on this Saturn. So let's see how it goes. The clutch master cylinder is right here. That's the reservoir in the cap. I'm going to remove a few parts, give us a little bit of room to work, and to uh, get the camera in there. Now I removed the battery, the battery tray, and the air box. Now we can see the pressure line coming off the master cylinder. Goes into a small device down here called a damper. Here's the bracket that mounts the damper. The pressure line coming out of the damper and into the slave cylinder. Notice also this slave cylinder does not have a bleed screw. Now the clutch master cylinder push rod attaches to the clutch pedal arm with a clip. Remove the clip and you can take the push rod off of the clutch pedal arm. To remove the master cylinder from the firewall, locate the master cylinder and give it a turn clockwise and the whole system comes loose. So we carefully pull that out. We'll disconnect the slave cylinder and the damper and the whole assembly can come out. Now remove the nuts that hold the damper bracket on to get the slave cylinder out. I'm going to push in a little bit and rotate forward. And there it is. And these are the new components I'm going to install. The master cylinder, the push rod for the master cylinder, and here's the seal, the roll pin, and a cotter pin. And here's our slave cylinder and its corresponding seal and roll pin. But uh, notice this, we've got a little bleed vent on the slave cylinder. And we're going to use it to help get fluid into this system. To remove the line from the master and the slave, it's the same technique. Drive out the pin, the roll pin, use an eighth inch punch, pull the line out, the line will have just a barbed fitting. When I get both lines out, I'm going to take some low pressure air and just very gently blow this system out to get rid of any of the excess fluid, old fluid in there. Then we'll put it together and start to fill it up. Now I've reassembled the system and I've got it just pinched lightly in the vise, right there where the fitting is and I just put some fresh dot three brake fluid in there and put the Allen wrench in the bleed port here. Just going to crack it. And the fluid should start going down and it'll start filling this system up. I got the bleed screw open and you can see the fluid levels really going down. We're just kind of pre-filling it. There, I got some fluid coming out. Okay, tighten that up and put some more fluid in. Now I actually like to do as much of this as possible while I'm outside the car here. There just isn't as much space sometimes and things just don't quite work out so well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compress the slave cylinder. And this is going to push the air bubbles back up and through the system here. So let me push this slave a little bit. And when I let it expand, it pulls in fluid. Compress, extend. We just exchange air bubbles for fluid. Now to get a good deep draw on it, I went ahead and disconnected those insulation straps. I'll show you how that works in a minute. Compress, bubbles, extend, pulls in new fluid. Just make sure you don't run out of fluid while you're doing this, otherwise you make more work for yourself. Now another technique that works well is just tapping on the system. Just tap on it with a screwdriver. Helps dislodge some air bubbles. Sends them up. One of the things we're going to do here before we're all done, we're going to prove that this system is fully bled before it goes back in the car. We do some more slave cylinder compressions. See we're getting less and less air 
one other thing that's very important about this process. The master cylinder has to be tipped, push right end down, 30, 45 degrees. If you don't have it tipped, you're going to have trapped air in the master cylinder. Now it only took a few minutes of compressing the slave cylinder, pushing air bubbles out the top, and getting fluid to come back in. But how do you know when you're done? In this particular case, there's a clip that holds the slave cylinder piston in place. I'm going to use that. So the slave cylinder is not connected right now. Let me get a good mark on here. I've got a substitute push right in there, just a Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to push in and mark the push rod. And I'm getting about an eighth of an inch. But as I push it in, I'm getting a good solid rebound. There's no sponginess to it. It's solid. This system is bled. We're ready to go back and install it in the car. Now in order to do that test that I did with the 1 8 inch, I need something solid to push against. I removed the push rod in the boot and notice inside there we've got a clip holding the piston in. I was able to use that clip to hold the piston and that gave me my block so that I could push easily and feel if the system had any air in it. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the push rod back on, put the boot back in place and reattach the straps and it'll be ready to install. The hydraulics are all installed. I put the bracket and damper back on, put the slave cylinder in, give it a little twist, locked it in, and the master cylinder is installed. Now one thing I did with the master cylinder, I didn't put the push rod on it first. It kept everything a lot shorter. So I went ahead and installed it, locked it in, and then from the inside underneath I inserted the push rod. That just makes that master cylinder shorter, makes it a little easier to get in place. But this really was one of those reverse procedure to install situations. Well it's all put back together and we didn't do any bleeding once I installed it in the car. We did all of it on the bench, got all the air bubbles out, just used that bleed screw to get the big volume of fluid in there, and then coax the air bubbles to go out the top. Let them do what they want to do, go up. Now I also said there was two ways to do this, right? Well you just saw me replace the master and the slave cylinder. Here's the second way to do it. We offer a complete pre-fill for this car. Remove and replace. If you have any questions about a clutch, hydraulic release system, or a flywheel, please call Perfection toll-free tech support. We'll be glad to take your call and help you out.